Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, as you all know, the volcano in St. Vincent's has erupted and there's hot ash and lava and it's a disaster waiting to happen with over a hundred thousand people living in the area about 17,000 people in the immediate vicinity of what they would call the red zone and who do they call to help rescue these people that's right the much maligned cruise ships That's right, when the island realized that they need to evacuate some people, they may not have the locations to put everybody. I mean, 17,000 people out of a population of 100,000 is almost, you know, 17% of your population. All of a sudden you have to find places for them out of a danger zone. So they reached out and the cruise lines started sailing their ships to rescue. This is this comes as a long list of things that cruise lines do. How many times have you seen uh, cruise lines bringing doctors or medical facilities or bringing food and water after hurricanes and huge storms? It always seems to be the cruise lines that do a lot of the delivering of of the emergency goods that need to get to wherever the especially in the Caribbean area. Um, they could just load so much stuff on it that they make the perfect transports to head out. So a lot of the times cruise ships are always heading out and doing the right thing and helping people. And this is no exception. Uh, St. Vincent's needs the help. Luckily, the cruise ships are empty, <laughs> in a, well, I guess, for them that they're able to head over there and rescue. They are, they are gonna be following the health protocols that they have in place and separating people and keeping them with masks, etc., things like that. Uh, so there will be COVID protection on board somewhat. Um, but I did see, I don't know who the person was. I don't know what official capacity they had, but they came out and said that, you know, uh, I think if you're going to go on one of the cruise ships or if you're going to go into one of the hotel areas there you should be vaccinated <laughs> and my only thought when i'm listening to that is let me see do i be in the path of an erupting volcano or do i take a chance and go on a cruise ship that hasn't been vaccinated I don't think there's much of a choice there myself. I don't think it's an if or 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 a weighing of the, of the chances of harm. Uh, I kind of think that was a really dumb statement uh, to make, especially in this time. Uh, hey, uh, would you rather get hit by a car at 100 miles an hour or would you rather spend a night on a cruise ship? Mm, I don't know, without a, without a vaccine. I, I can't believe somebody actually made that statement. But that's the time that we live in when you're uh, in the cruise ship industry. In the meantime, the cruise ships are just doing what they've always done and they've headed out to help in any way they can. So as much as we, we malign the cruise ship industry, at some point you have to give them kudos as well and just say thank you. So thank you cruise ships for heading out and doing what you can and helping people. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world. Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.